Hi, this is Josie and Josie's Fun Kitchen and welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I make fettuccine Alfredo. And I do have a special guest with me today, a uh, former colleague of mine, Bob O'Connell. So he'll come around and do the taste test with me. But if you see me talking, I'm talking to him. Just quickly tell you what we're gonna go through and I'm gonna have the printable directions underneath with the link and also the ingredients. This is quick and easy. We're having a pound of fettuccine. Did I say fettuccine Alfredo or did I say linguine? Fettuccine Alfredo. Uh, I'm using Pecorino Romano cheese and I'm going to grate it on here. I need about a cup of that. Salt, pepper, and room temperature, heavy whipping cream. Don't skimp on that. So first thing we're doing is we're gonna heat this, whoops, one one. Heat this up. I have my little, um, I have a stone in there. You'll see, it's like this. I'm gonna talk with you while we're doing okay. this too. So I have this stone in here, it's, I got it from Pampered Chef. So when it boils, it rattles. So you know when the water's boiling. So I have that. I am going to turn this on low. I wanna melt the butter. Yes, a stick of butter. I use unsalted because then you can salt the way you want. Uh, I'm going to get that just kind of slowly melting. And of course we have wine. We're going to have some wine with this. So I'm going to just, yeah, we'll do that. And I learned to like Pecorino Romano. I usually use Parmigiano Reggiano. Yeah. Do you guys? What do you prefer? Do you have a preference? I like everything I've done. I've, I've, never, I've never made uh, a Really? Yeah. Oh, so you're going to see how easy it is. Why? Taste them. Dish. So that's about a cup. So I'll just go. I got a cup of Pecorino Romano. You can use Parmigiano Reggiano as well. So you can hear this rattling. And I'm not lifting up my fan because then it's going to block Bob and you can't see what I'm doing. Because I just learned he's never made fettuccine Alfredo. So I'm going to put a bunch of salt in here because remember, you're actually seasoning your pasta. Did you know that? Okay. How much salt do you put in? Like three of these? Like a big palm full, really. Do you use kosher salt? Okay. I know, sometimes I've seen people use the regular table salt. I'm not supposed to use that. And you know that you're supposed to put it in boiling water. Yeah, I know. Not, I mean, not cold water, because it'll ruin your pots. Now, do you, here's another question. Do you break your pasta? Do you know people who break their pasta? I'm gonna tell you a story. So my nephew, he was over here visiting one time, and he, we were gonna make pasta, and he was ready, well, he broke it, and I, I was stunned. I said, I can't believe that you're breaking pasta. He goes, yeah, I always break it so that it's not as long. I said, that's the point of having spaghetti like that. Yeah. So then he was at his, I was visiting, and he goes, you know, it's my house, I can break the pasta. So what I did is I went to, I think it was Trader Joe's, <laughs> and there was pasta that was this long, oh, that's great. and I bought it, and pasta lasts forever, and the one time I was visiting and they had it, and I said, this is the only pasta that you can break, because it wouldn't fit in the pot. Yeah. I find it relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, talking about garlic. I'm gonna show you a trick what I can do in here. I was thinking about it. But you like garlic, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so before I forget, I have a cup of shredded cheese here. And I'm gonna just put it in here. And it's and I'm just leaving this on low, actually extra low, and I'll just have it melted. And then when the pasta's finished, you put it in here 
and then we'll chop up some fresh parsley and we're finished. But you can do this too, because I love garlic. Take this off. And it'll have a little bit of garlic flavor. And you can do that with mashed potatoes. And that's really good. So this will cook for about seven minutes. Now you can add chicken breast to this. You can add shrimp. Okay, so this is finished. I can feel it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this right from here because of the pasta water is the starchy. And actually, Use this fork. I'll take the garlic out. But you can see how it's nice and creamy, and you can always add more cheese. We're going to add more cheese to it. So I'm just gonna take this and make sure I cook it al dente and <laughs> I'm always dropping. <laughs> Things. There we go. See, that was quick. And then I have the parsley right here, which I'll chop up. You can eat pasta anytime. Yes. And I burn myself all the time, too. All right. Top. We're going to be very cash. We're going to have some wine. Okay, we're just going to do a little and then we're going to add more to it like when, when I sit down. But I'm going to take uh, here. You have to get in here. You have to stand right next to me. Of course, I have more than he does. All right. So it's creamy. And then you have to give it, I, I give it the yummy. It's yummy. Very good. You like it? Very good. Thank you. Very All right. Good. And then, Bob bought some Pinot Noir. Cheers. That's Lavia. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. That's a very good. What? How do you say this? Montepulciano. Montepulciano. Okay. So you know, I always have tricks up my sleeve. But um. Very good. Oh, thank you. So I was asked all the way from Philly. I got a phone call. They wanted me to um, congratulate you with the leadership award. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you're doing. Wow. That's great. Thank you. So Congratulations. Is it upside down? No. no. Yeah. Well, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So anyway. That's great. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh, so let me, let's hear Let's finish up. So thank you again. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Bob is a subscriber. And we'll see you next time at Josie's Fun Kitchen. Great. See ya. Thank you. <laughs> You're Thanks, welcome. Josie. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny.